Designed by Dibble Engineering and constructed by Aiken Gardner, the City of Scottsdale Small Diameter Sewer Rehabilitation Project is the first installation of Reline America's Blue Tech Liner System in Arizona. The biggest challenge for the City of Scottsdale project was just it's all rear easement. So every day we were in and out of people's backyards and it's you know somewhat invasive being in their backyards. Uh, moving all the material into the backyards, everything that had to go back there was carried back either by hand or, or rolled back on some rollers. So that was definitely the toughest part of it. Four different scenarios where we actually had to enter through the homes, through people's front doors and carry all of our equipment, all of our materials through these folks' living rooms and out their back patios to access manholes in the backyard. We had to find a material that was very portable, mobile, easy to carry in these remote locations and provided a structural pipe in the backyard easements. Crews are seen here accessing the backyard manholes. At this time, the pipe segment has been bypassed and residents have been advised to minimize water use. The existing line has been water jet cleaned to remove roots and debris and pre-videoed. The first step in the Blue Tech process is the installation of a slip sheet that will allow for the smooth delivery of the wetted out Blue Tech liner through the existing deteriorated pipe. The light cure process enables us to have a smaller footprint which allows us to go into backyards. This process allows Aiken Gardner's crews to complete its installation work quicker and with significantly less disturbance to impacted residents. The residents' laterals are reinstated at the completion of work every day. The Blue Tech liner is pulled through using a variable torque winch. The CIPP sleeves are structural composites reinforced with spiral wound continuous glass fibers. The sleeves incorporate a proprietary unique fiber architecture that has been developed through extensive testing. Reline's design results in a product that consistently exceeds expectations. In fact, after testing the cured liner on this project, actual flexure strength and modulus were four times stronger than the design required. Early on in the process, crews map each segment to allow for the custom ordering of segment liners. This ultimately reduces waste and minimizes project costs. Liners are manufactured at Reline America's state-of-the-art facility in Saltville, Virginia, in sizes ranging from 6 inches to 48 inches in diameter. Developed in Germany by Brandenburger in the 1990s, Blue Tech Technology and its North American marketing rights were licensed to Reline America in 2005. Worldwide installation of similar UV cured liners have now exceeded 10 million lineal feet. The Scottsdale project is another example of the success of this new technology here in the United States. Liner installation and final quality control monitoring by the engineer is complete within a typical eight hour workday. As you can see here, the liner is inflated to approximately 8 PSI to allow for final inspection and light curing of liner. Reline America's advanced light chains are inserted and used to cure the liner. Reline's process provides a controlled and computer documented liner curing using UV light. Innovative Blue Tech UV equipment technology using powerful UV noble light allows for curing times of 5 to 8 feet per minute. Quality control using infrared sensors and a closed circuit television camera allow for the continuous monitoring before and during curing. This ability to pre-inspect the quality of liner installation prior to curing is an enhancement over other pipe rehabilitation methods and improves the overall quality of the project being delivered to the client. Agencies should consider the reduction in the hydraulic capacity of their existing pipe. 
The Bluetech system made out of fiberglass and resin provides a very thin liner on the inside of the existing host pipe. So there's very minimal impact to the existing hydraulics. The residence is back into service with a new structurally designed sanitary sewer pipe that also eliminates root intrusion well into the next generation. The Scottsdale project was a good one for us. We got off the ground well because we had a team approach with the city, our engineers, and our crew that was actually installing the product. I think the biggest challenges were making sure we had access to all the manholes in the backyards and that the residents knew what was going on each and every day. One of the lessons learned is that you need to do a lot of upfront engineering time, hands-on work with the residents. You need to get them comfortable with the construction process, who they're going to see out on site, what their company's logos are going to be, the engineering logos, get them familiar with the process and the people that's going to be working around their daily lives. This team worked together very well. Uh, the contractor, their subs, the engineers all come together with the owner and also the residents. It was all one big team to make this project a success. Aiken Gardner and Dibble Engineering have the necessary knowledge, experience, and resources to bring this technology to you and provide the same level of service and quality on your project.